Hello everyone, Inventor719 here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you a free way to make your airsoft or pellet gun faster. So for this video what you're going to need is your airsoft gun of course, I just have a little Walmart Springer pistol if you're wondering, just so you don't have to ask me in the comments below. This one's called the Colt Double Eagle Series 90. Um, used it in my last video actually, where I plastic dipped it black. As you can see, I took off the part, to the top part, because it looks kind of cool. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Um, anyway, you're also going to need some screwdrivers. I have a flathead and a Phillips. Depends on your type of gun, basically just to take it apart. You're also going to need a vise or something like a clamp. Airsoft BBs, and you won't need this, but I have a chronograph, which basically measures the feet per second or the FPS of your gun, just to prove that this actually works. So quickly before going ahead and doing the mod, um, I loaded up the magazine, and I'm going to take five shots through my chronograph to get an average reading of what this gun is shooting, so we can compare afterwards. So here we go, taking five random shots. That was 209.2 feet per second. You might just be able to see that there. 209.2. Pretty quick little spring airsoft gun. Let's take a few more shots. Error again. Uh, I got 210 on the dot. So, I'll average those out and compare it to after at the end of the video. So to make our airsoft gun faster, basically all spring airsoft guns work on the principle of converting the kinetic, or sorry, the potential energy into the spring into kinetic energy which propels the BB forward. And as you can see, when you cock the airsoft gun, it compresses the spring and leaves it compressed until you push the trigger and it launches forward. Now basically the more compressed this spring will get um, the more potential energy it has which is converted to kinetic energy when the trigger is pulled and thus it should fire faster. So to do this mod we're gonna basically start taking apart our gun here which is where the screwdriver comes in handy. Most guns will have a pin above the trigger um, where you can push through just like that you can probably use your hands but that was easier and then by pulling forward on the top the slide of the gun um, you should just be able to move the handle aside and we can start looking at the underside of the gun as you can see um, there's the spring this is I think the loading mechanism but all we care about for this video is the spring and now we're gonna work on getting that out so to get out the spring on this specific model, um, there's two little screws at the back here. So I'm going to go ahead and undo those, just two little Phillips screws. Make sure not to lose them. And I'm expecting, as you can see, there's nothing stopping this from popping outwards from the, for the spring to push it out. So I'm going to put my thumb over here. Always a good idea. Okay, I was wrong. It didn't just pop out, but let's see if with a little force we can get it to come out. So yeah, with a bit of prying I was able to get the black piece out and the spring. And uh, as I warned you guys, it did shoot everywhere, so make sure to be careful. So now here is the power spring we're concerned about. As you can see, it's a pretty heavy duty spring. Now before we get into modifying it, I'm going to go ahead and measure for you guys. As we're in Canada, we're going to go ahead and use metric. And it is exactly 8 centimeters or 80 millimeters long. So, to modify it, what we're going to do is stretch it a little bit. So, to stretch the spring, I'm basically going to use my vise here and um, clamp onto it. And then pull as hard as I can. But, of course, if you have an uh, airsoft crazy brother like yourself, um, I would totally recommend using them. 
because you don't want to crush the spring as you can see I'm holding on to it but any more might start crushing it and that's about all I want and now I'm gonna start pulling maybe I'll put him in there for support as well I'm gonna start pulling you don't want to make it too floppy but you still want to stretch it it's hard to tell when it's stretching but basically just pull as hard as you can hopefully you went to the gym now feels a little bit stretched but I'm not quite sure so I'm going to take out my tape measure so now we have eight and a half okay I'm going to try and stretch it a little more off camera and get back to you guys so here we are back with a spring after using my hands pretty much just to stretch it uh, I was able to get it to around 10 centimeters it's around nine and a half to ten which is a centimeter and a half increase which when it was only originally eight centimeters long is probably you know just under 25 percent so when we put it all back together I'd like to see a 25 percent increase in speed which is around 50 feet per second doing some quick math it doesn't work exactly like that but uh, let's see how close it is all right now time to go ahead and put this together um, now it kind of like I said exploded when it came apart but basically if I remember correctly um, there's a few pieces I got the plunger uh, a little holder and we'll call this the the butt or the stop of it so what I'm going to try doing is first putting in the plunger with the uh, groove in the slide just like that now it'll be harder to reassemble because the spring is that much longer then we're going to have the spring in there and then I believe this butt or this is the kind of the guide where as you can see it also has a tooth that will go in the slide taking it apart I did actually chip my airsoft gun a little bit which is kind of upsetting hopefully it still goes back together uh, I personally don't care much about the airsoft gun because it was only 20 bucks at Walmart but let's see if we can get it to break 250 feet per second alright I'm just gonna go ahead and squish this together now and uh, hopefully it works so there you go, I managed to squish it all back in there, then to put it back together, just basically do the opposite of what you did the first time. Um, push the slide back on this way, and then get your little connector plug piece, put it in there like that, and let's do uh, some shooting tests. Okay, so here's the second shooting test. This is after modification, and just in case you're playing along at home, I'm using the exact same ammo, they're ultrasonic point two gram BBs, uh, six millimeter of course. Here we go, firing three, two, one. First shot, all right, not bad. I got 218, so definitely an increase in FPS. Um, again, for free, you can't really complain. 218.6, which is actually around 10 FPS faster than the first shot we took. So let's do another shot here. Three, two, one. Mm, didn't see that one. Let's try again. Second shot, I got 216.9. Here we go. Number three, I got 217.4. Shooting test number four. 213.2. And we'll try and do one more shooting test here. Sorry, trying to hold the camera and cock the gun at the same time. Alright, test number five. 214.8. Let me add up the numbers and get back to you. So, the results are in and there's good news and bad news. The good news, of course, is that the mod does work. And it did... Um, effectively increased the FPS of my gun and I proved it with my chronograph. Now the bad news is, as you saw saw in the tests, the numbers were not amazing. Um, I averaged out the before and after and before the average was uh, around 210.9, after it was around 216 which is around a 3% increase or as you can see around 6 FPS. Now I only stretched the spring by a few centimeters so as you can imagine it's not that much stiffer if you doubled it you definitely see more gains but a little precaution i will put in here when stretching the spring it will put more pressure on parts like the trigger latch um, probably the loading mechanism 
So there could also be a higher chance of um, jamming your gun, breaking an internal part. So I wouldn't recommend doing this to an expensive gun uh, or one you don't want to see break by accident. Um, you could also go to the hardware store and buy yourself a spring that's the same um, length but has more coils, which is thus tougher to compress. Um, I might do that in a future video, maybe take you guys on a shopping trip with me to the store. But overall, this does work. Um, it'll also work with pellet guns, anything that is powered by a spring, um, not air or electric, obviously. Um, um, if you guys want, I can make videos as I have a few ideas on how to make air and electric guns faster. If you want to see that, comment down below. But for today's video, thanks for watching everyone. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe.